Yeah. It's been tough. I think by now, if you can say that it hasn't been hard for you, you would be extremely lucky. Or if not, you're just extremely strong. I guess I'm doing this because I've avoided creating content for the past few weeks. I've had to though. Um, obviously, the job requires that you do it even if you're not feeling like it. And I've had to do a couple of videos and some articles in the past weeks. The other day, I did a quick live stream of an unboxing, um, introducing a new product for a new brand. And there was one comment that really struck me in, in the entire thing. And it was basically someone saying that they wish I uploaded more on my channel. And really, it struck me not just because I was surprised that someone was waiting for my content on YouTube, but also because it got me thinking. It got me thinking of why I haven't been as passionate in terms of creating videos about photography and other content about photography. And it really boils down to being tired of hoping. I guess this is the first, maybe the last, I don't know, time that I would do something that you can probably call a vlog. Let me share with you guys on this video a simple camera, or one of my cameras really, it's nothing new, that revived my passion for photography in the past few days, and hopefully in the coming days as well. Coping. Coping Coping is the key word of this video because it's the effort we make to stay hopeful, to stay passionate, to push ourselves to get back on our feet, something like that. And really, it's coping. And I started coping with the pandemic. We started a lot of online workshops and we all eventually got tired. I also started coping by revisiting a lot of my old photos and editing them and somehow finding the satisfaction of breathing new life into them. And that was perhaps the summary of the first year of the pandemic. Recently, it's been different, of course. It's been different because I guess for me and a lot of other people, it's just sinking in that at this point, we don't even know when it's really going to be normal again. But life has to go on. And for me, life has to go on in terms of having a need to create. Before, for me, the need to create was just for me to have a creative output. And it was always easier in terms of that because I would be busy with work and creating content and doing photography altogether has always been just a more relaxing version of work for me. But now that a lot of the work that I do is creating content, there is that need to create with a huge deficiency in inspiration. Because again, I'd rather be out in Batanes or in the US maybe, or in Patagonia, shooting landscapes right now. And in terms of my channel, I'd rather be shooting behind the scenes of myself shooting all those landscapes and sharing with you guys whatever I can. But we're stuck. Being a professional content creator, not on YouTube though, I barely earn any, I, I've never earned anything out of this channel. But being a professional content creator, you have to find that inspiration no matter how stuck you are. A lot of my cameras, most of my camera gear has been in storage for at least the past few months. For some reason, 
I had this urge to pick up one of the cameras I got before the pandemic and just start shooting with it again. I got this one right before the pandemic started and I intended for it to be my walk around travel camera. Um, for, for complete transparency, yes, I am um, working directly with Sony Philippines, but this video is not in any way sponsored. It's not in any way requested by the brand. And it really just happens to be that camera that really helped me out in the past week. So yeah, I'm talking about this little guy. If you read a lot of my articles, you would know that one of my favorite cameras is my RX100 and that I'm a huge advocate of having at least one of these even if you have bigger full-frame gear or APS-C gear. You know, it's just really having a good enough camera with you wherever you go even if you don't have your, your main gear with you. I know some of you might be thinking I always say this about smartphones and that's true but I always also say that there are limitations to the smartphone and it just so happens that this one surpasses that. Um, smartphones are limited with zoom and this one has just a wide range of, of focal length to begin with and that's primarily the reason why I always wanted one of these ones. So the RX100 Mark VI, so it's a one inch sensor. It's not really something I'd use professionally but it's something that can take decent photos for social media and even small prints. Between the 5th and the 6th, there was a revolutionary jump because this one has a range of 24 to 200, while the 5th only has 24 to 70. I like to do a lot of photography that requires unique compositions and really tight shots and isolation. and. You know, this one just does it for me. Of course, it has a flip screen and it perfectly has this very nice pop-up viewfinder. But really, it's the range. It's the range for me that, that this one offers the most that is most compelling for me, if that makes sense. The past few days, I just really decided to have this in my pocket again. You know, I just kind of pushed myself a bit to start shooting whenever I can. I've had this in my pocket for the past three days and whenever I would find anything remotely interesting, I would turn it on and zoom in on whatever and just find a different perspective. And these photos that I've been taking aren't really the photos that would wow you. They're not the photos that would get thousands of likes on Instagram, which I've never had. But these photos help me retrain my eyes because really I have not been shooting the past few months. It just gave me that satisfaction. My point is everywhere I go, I make an effort to find something unique or find something interesting and just really shoot it. Somehow it helps me express myself. Somehow it helps me not just practice my composition and all that, but really somehow it helps me blow off some steam. And that's really something we all need right now. And yeah, I think I'm going to be keeping this in my pocket for the next few weeks at the very least. I think for all photographers who have lost their inspiration in photography, maybe you just need a different perspective. Have a camera with you. It doesn't have to be this one. Just have a camera with you that you can keep in your pocket. Maybe something more flexible than a smartphone. But if not, that works. I've been making a point to say this at the end of every video and I think it fits even more on this one. Stay safe, guys, and stay passionate.